Hey guys, it's Dave and this is the only 52 features and issue number 37 and it's some questions are there, some that it's not yet answered but first I, I'm gonna tell you the reviews from different websites alcomic.com has given it 8.0, Weird Science 5.0, IGN it's terrific 4.6, Batman News 4.5, DC Comics News 4.0 that is really really bad anyway so from alcomic.com this review is pretty much not good not bad or something I can say but it is 4 out of 5 the review is good but about this comic he has written maybe something good or something bad anyway this is by Brian Azarello I want Firestorm unfortunately since she doesn't seem to have an 800 number to call her to action I have to create a situation that will draw her out of hiding Dr. Polaris really needs to get his stress under control he's just been so different since the accident you know this week's the new 52 features in 37 gives us more action alongside a bit of humor as the release date of the use fear draws ever closer I want one. Among one of the bigger storylines as of late is the introduction of Dr. Polaris which this issue touches on the quota above is from the coat above is from Polaris he's convinced the Justice League interfered with his attempts in creating a teleportation device and since half of Firestorm was his lab assistant Jason he is venting the majority of his anger onto the hero with multiple personalities writer Brian Azarello along with Jeff Lemire, Dan Zergens and Keith Giffen also used this issue to remind us that the use fear is coming and it's not going to be pretty the Batman Joker abomination is a constant reminder of this this week we are also given another look at what Terry McGuinness has been up to lately uh, wait a minute what were they doing on the roof Mm, on the artwork side of this week's issue is penciler Aaron Low Presti along with the anchors Art Tebert, Dan Green and Wayne Fortune with colors being done by Hi-Fi that is pretty cool and that is pretty expensive kind of thing but most of the ways if we go for tell the story and on the stories it's quite a good and about this one that up at the just the defense station Omega this is review from weird science comics blog dot blogspot dot in so Jason Rush is instructing Madison Payne on how to recreate Dr. Yamazaki's experiment that fused them together and while they toil Dr. Polaris is down in Metropolis calling Firestorm out don't worry though they can continue the experiment because Storm God and Superman Shazam are picking up her slack and taking on the magnetic maniac after all the wars are in place Firestorm enters the chamber but for whatever reason the experiment doesn't work and Firestorm is shot out of the machine and to me she looks kind of hurt I wonder if they have tried yelling flame off yet over in Las Vegas we see that the giant vault that 50 Sue conjured up is way too heavy to be sitting on top of building and it goes crashing down through the side and most likely killed a whole bunch of people it's at this point where we find out that apparently the head on 50 C is still on because we that when she wasn't looking mercy went and touched her that mercy thing she touches people and they die guess at first it looks like it didn't work but then 50 Sue gets a little wobbly and falls. That is pretty bad for this one. Anyway, and then we head back over to New York where Tim Drake has finally made his way back to his home, the Wounded Duck, where he finds the place in shambles. He's lost his girlfriend, Ronnie Raymond, and now this team's had enough. It's a good thing, too, because when he starts shouting at the world for everything that he's had to endure over the past couple years, weeks it gets the attention of Batman Beyond and that's something you don't want or something who was lying naked with plastic and filling those oh so good feelings off I need more so Batman Beyond flies down and apo apologies to Tim for destroying his place but before we can have the awesome team up for Batman Beyond and Red Robin Tim feels the need to punch Terry in the face I really hope that they don't really start fighting because down the street the Batman Joker monster has got them back in its sights so that's it for this week's features and, and we are still there with the same problems as before where we are just waiting for something to happen seriously is Firestorm going to be able to separate no is Frankenstein going to get healed we don't know but 
No, a team and Terry going to team up? No, it's just a lot of no's and I'm looking for a great big yes. It's really frustrating when you realize that you're sitting back and yelling at a comic book to hurry up and do something. I'd like to say that the art this week was great from Harren Lopersti, but that too wasn't as good as it's been and I find that a shame because I usually really like his work. Just not a lot going on here even though but it's been pretty cool but I have enjoyed it whether it's good or bad so hope you guys have enjoyed it too and if you want to enjoy it fully just go to the store and buy the book and help the developers for developing.